Indonesia is a country with respectable defense potential in Southeast Asia, with impressive defense industry achievements. One of those is the Badak Fire Support Vehicle, designed and produced by PT Pindot. The vehicle was unveiled at Indo Defense and Aerospace 2014. PT Pindot received an order from the Ministry of Defense, Republic of Indonesia, to deliver 50 vehicles to the Indonesian Army in January 2016. Pindot plans to roll out 25 to 30 Badok vehicles each year from its plant in Bandung. As of 2018, the order was reduced to 14 vehicles. It is intended to replace the Arvis Saladin. Badak has a full load weight of about 14 tons, a length of 6 meters, a width of 2.5 meters, and a height of 2.9 meters. The vehicle featured a new design with unwelded monocoque steel hull with stand-up 4569 level 3 protection based on a modified chassis of the Anua 6x6 armor personnel carrier. The layout houses the power packed on front left, the driver's position on the right side of the forward hull, and turret in the middle of the hull. The vehicle is manned by three crew members. The driver is provided with a single-piece hatch cover with three division periscopes. The rear hull is fitted with two single doors, and the turret is provided with two hatch covers and a stowage basket. Badak is equipped VHF and HF radio communications in a comm air conditioning and heating system, global positioning system, and navigation system. The two-person turret has a baseline protection of up to Stanak 4569 Level 1, upgradable to Level 4, and is armed with a 90mm low-pressure rifle gun. The weapon system allows the firing of armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot chaser, high-explosive anti-tank, high-explosive squash head, and canister anti-personnel rouse. The turret can be integrated with a range of sight and fire control systems, including day and night gunner sight, laser range fighter, and a ballistic computer. In addition, there is a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun with another 7.62mm machine gun mounted on the left side of the turret roof for use in the limited air and self-defense roles, and also two banks of 76mm smoke granite projectors on either side of the turret. Powering the Indonesian machine is a new 340 horsepower, six cylinder diesel engine, coupled to a fully automatic transmission with six forward gears and a reverse gear. It includes double wishbone independent suspension for better stability while firing the 90mm cannon. The propulsion system enables the vehicle to achieve a maximum road speed of 90 km per hour and a maximum range of 600 km. My video about the Pindark Final Support Vehicle ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. 
Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.